So we all know that lighting is a key factor in creating a successful 3D image. Lighting allows artists to convey information, story, and more importantly, emotion in an image or render. And getting the right lighting can be tricky, especially when you're new to lighting or you just want things to get up and running. Well, thanks to the brand new lighter add-on, lighting setup is now super easy in Blender as you can now take advantage of this easy and fast tool to create decent lighting setups for your model. One thing to keep in mind is this lighting setup is specifically for more product related stuff. So if you're looking for other forms of lighting like full environment light, then you probably should take a look at some other tools which I'm going to link in the description. But this is more targeted towards product lighting. So for those who like to get this, there's also going to be a link in the description that will bring you right here where you can download this and start playing with it. And how this works is super easy. So if you simply pop up Blender and go over to edit, go over to preference, you can install the add-on. Now, once you install the add-on and you tap N on the keyboard, you notice that we have the lighter right here. Some of the things that I would like to show you guys is this. Let's go ahead and use the polygonic tool and spawn a vehicle. And the next thing which I'm going to do is put a simple plane. By default, when you're looking at, you know, things like this, if you switch over to either EV or you switch over to cycles to start rendering this, you would notice that you probably need to go around and start putting light here and there. So this is super easy to be done, especially when you get to duplicate this light. You can put as many lights as you want, and then you can start styling them. You might want to change the type of a particular light, the intensity, and also the colors. And this would make you go back and forth to always tweak this. But what if you can actually create a setup that can give you lots of variations and just allow you work easily and get the right lighting setup for yourself. And this is where the lighter add-on actually kicks in. So what we're going to do is just go all the way back, get rid of all of these lights. I'm selecting all of them, hit the delete button, and you notice we have nothing. So if we go over to the lighter section, first off, we can select the kind of lights we want. So you do have a set of color palettes that can help you preview the colors that is going to be applied to your light. Of course, you can change this at any point, so if you select on any of this, you can now click on the button, light it up. So once you click on light it up, you do have the light with a couple of nodes, which you can, of course, proceed to move around and you can as well choose to change every single thing right here. So the very first one is this, that you can change the seed so you can simply play with this light. And you know the best part, you can right click and animate this as well. So you want this light to just simply increase. You want to increase the number of lights. Of course you can. You want to seek this. Yes, you can. So you can simply set this however you want. I'm just going to set this to like 15 so we can get something like that. Ooh, looking good already. And then we can go all the way down here where we can maximize the size. So you want to make it bigger, smaller. You notice that you have full control of all of this. At the same time, if you would like to play with these lights individually, yes, you can. So in this case, if we simply take a look from this position, you would notice that we have a couple of parameters here. Now, one thing which I'll suggest the creator should do in subsequent release is to add a little bit of a description. I think that way users will be able to understand what this does because at this point, this deals with the first, the second, and the third light. So I can go in and I can rotate this light however I want. Of course, you can see it says radiance, but putting the word rotation would make sense. So we can rotate this light however we want. So we want the light like so. We can do that. If we also want to bounce this light towards this point, of course we can. So we can also move this towards the back. And you notice you don't have to leave this panel to start styling your lights. You already have all it takes. At the same time, we can go all the way down here and we can choose to change the color. So let's say I would like to change this color. Of course, we can have that. I can also reduce the intensity. I can also reduce the size of the light and we can reduce the intensity if we choose. We can actually make this a little bit white. We can zoom all the way in and then we can change the shape. So we can change this to become a disc if we want that, if we like this to become an ellipse tool, if we like this to become a rectangle, whatever you want, you can change them right here. And we can also go over to this other one and make some changes like so. And maybe we'll like to make some more so we can add some light changes all around this. So in this case, you now have full control of lights that you can play with. And once you're done, you can simply click on the word release light and automatically you now have this as individual lights, especially if you like to proceed to tweak them and do some stuff. Regardless of the fact that you've released this light, you still have full control of this light because at this point, if we would like to also increase the area, of course you can see we have that area right there and we can also proceed to reduce 
how much intensity that life actually has. And of course, you have a couple of other parameters that deals with the energy seed. And at the same time, let's actually explore with this other one because, you know, it's green. At the same time, you can also play with the color seed. Now, the color seed actually flickers through, or should I say, it shuffles through different colors. And you can use this to create some variations for yourself. So if you're into working with stuff like this, this is also something that will come in pretty handy. It's also worth mentioning that there is a points to interest feature that also exists with this tool. So all you need to do is just put a particular object as the point of interest, and then you can fiddle with the light and get some very interesting results. So this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at this, links to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. At the same time, if you're looking for more lighting tools, there's a couple of lighting tools you can find on Blender Market. So you do have like the EV production suite. This is also a very good one. The quick studio light is also there. You also have the fundamental of digital lighting for Blender, just in case you like to really, really learn how to light. The folks at CG Cookie have actually created this beautiful course, which is really nice, just in case you are looking for things like this. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll like see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah, you better.